Hi everybody, this is a screencast overview of week five of WebD 191. Um, I'm going to be coming at you at several different directions this week that are kind of probably unexpected, um, but I think they'll help build what we're trying to achieve this semester. So uh, first, if you've never done compiled style sheets, and I think some of you may have had a taste of this in WebD 168, which is the intermediate CSS and HTML course, uh, I'm going to reintroduce you or introduce you to compile style sheets and I'll do this with something called less. So this is about a 13 minute video and I've got practice uh, scripts with it. Uh, the concept here is that uh, employers will expect you to understand um, compiled style sheets and what they are. So um, I'll start with less and later on in the semester I'll introduce SAS and we can talk about mapping and things like that, but um, the idea is to make your um, portfolio be as professional as possible. And that means that um, you will have to understand compiled style sheets. So that is the first thing we're going to do. And the next thing we're going to do is, um, I was thinking about potential portfolio pieces that are simple for those of you who need portfolio pieces and recently visited pages to me have always been something that make an e-commerce site special so what i'm offering you is how to use make recent page visits with local storage that can be recalled and printed on a page with links to said page i think it works really well for e-commerce if you want to inject it in your e-commerce project if you've already taken webd 173 please do uh, if not if you want to throw it in a code pen uh, the concept is again to be the developers that care about user experience and I certainly care about user experience when I go to a site and I want to try to remember where I've been and I have links that show me that I really like it I first learned about this with Airbnb a few years ago and I don't think they use it anymore but I think it's a great idea for your portfolio um, so take a look at that and the code is right underneath now the next thing we're going to be doing this week is prototyping with JavaScript and we did this at the end of WebD 164, but quite frankly, a lot of students in that class are in project mode at that point. We did it at the very end of the course. So the concept is that you would com communicate to employers that you understand that JavaScript is a bare minimum loosely typed language and that uh, you, if you want extended functionality, you understand how to prototype either existing built-in objects or custom objects. And so this is the video, I think it's about 13 minutes, and there's a prototype zip with it as well. So that's your next step. And then week five, you have um, a Sexy Primes interview question, one of the more popular interview questions out there. Uh, you can solve this with PHP, JavaScript, or whatever else you know for programming languages. But the concept is that sexy prime numbers are prime numbers that differ by six. So 7 and 13, 11 and 17, 12 and 18, and so on. And what we'd like you to do is find all pairs of sexy prime numbers up to 500. So when you hear that, immediately think loop up to 500. But then you're going to have to work in the loop. Probably there's going to be a condition within that loop. Uh, if you exit back, you can see that I actually have the answer to that question. And it's um, in video format. So this is the answer to it. And you can take a look um, if you don't solve it. Um, then I have this. This is a way to keep your arrays looking like a pro. So take a look at this and see if it applies to any of your assets and your code pens. We have our traditional uh, loop here, but we can get super duper uh, intricate with it and understand that there are default arguments that can be displayed to that. So um, there's uh, the for each function also uses the third parameter, which is the array itself, in case you need the entire array in your processing function. So take a good look at that and see if it applies, because uh, we really want to uh, kind of move away from our for loops and use for each loops. But this explains why. And take a look, and it'll help you always get better. We're always trying to get better here. So um, that is the next thing. Uh, then I have an interview question article from an employer's perspective, which is really good because if you know what the employers are thinking, you can react to them. Um, and I, I really like this art, art, article for that reason. I think that most uh, 
most interviews, the employer really doesn't know what to ask. So you get a base set of questions and it's almost intended to be a filtration system so that they get a handful of developers that they're interested in. So please read this. Um, and that's about it. My homework assignment this week is going to be a little bit odd. Uh, what I'm asking you to do is, um, since you've just finished giving me your assets, if you can connect with me regarding a Zoom meeting, about 15 minutes, we can go over your assets together and ideas for your homepage. And if you just meet with me this week, I will give you 20 points. So please connect with me at a time for your leisure. Just hit me up via Gmail and I will respond and I will make an appointment with you. And that is week um, five.